Uh, so, Dr. Babini had received his MD and his PhD from Bologna, is, Bologna, did I say yes. right? Bologna? Yes, Bologna, the University of Bologna. That is where he did uh, the majority of his teaching as a pharmacologist also. From 1969 to 1979, he was the director of the Institute of Pharmacology for the same university. And in 1980, he joined a group whose goal was to change the way medical education was taught in Italy. That group then went on to form the Italian Society of Medical Education. So that's just to give you guys uh, a little insight into some of his experiences and stuff. His, his list was a lot longer, so I, I tried to truncate it as much as I can. So, and without further ado, Dr. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you all for uh, this invitation. Uh, I am very glad uh, to, to speak to you. Uh, when uh, uh, the Catholic Association invited me, they said that uh, they want to have an idea of uh, uh, what uh, is the essence of the uh, thought of a person and uh, the reason for his life, something uh, uh, very deep. Okay, so I will uh, give uh, a very, very short uh, uh, report of my life, but then I will uh, uh, concentrate on what I think is uh, my age. I don't know if you know my age, but I am very old. I am 70, <laughs> 76, so uh, uh, so at, at my age, uh, something must be uh, taken as a conclusion of the life. And so I will uh, tell you what I think is uh, the conclusion now of my life. Uh, very briefly, uh, yes, I was born in Bologna in 1933, and uh, I was there, and uh, the first uh, memories that I had were memory about, about uh, the Second World War, because we were, uh, we were there. I, I was uh, 12 in, in those days, and I still remember, unfortunately, some very heavy bombardment, but I remember that, that uh, uh, one day, one night, uh, uh, we were uh, at home, and there was a uh, bombardment uh, then. And then, uh, in the early morning, uh, it was already known that uh, the Allies should uh, come to Bologna. And so, my, um, uh, I and my, my small uh, brother, that was younger than me, were uh, in our room. Our room was... Uh, <laughs> on a small street, this is so funny, a small street, and then uh, there was silence uh, there, and then uh, we heard uh, a noise, uh, and so we look on the window, and I remember quite well, and there was a tank there coming, and uh, of course, it was a word, but, <laughs> but uh, on the tank uh, there was a soldier, uh, over the tank like this, and the soldier has a turban. And so I was a, 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 a kid, and I said, well, Indians are, are here. <laughs> <laughs> Indians are here. In fact, they were from, from, from India, because they, they were a, a group of soldiers, quite, quite, uh, well, that, uh, uh, they were, uh, were with the uh, English uh, people, okay? And uh, th this was one of the, um, of the first uh, memory of my life and that I still remember because I remember also the bad memory of all those bombardments uh, on, on our city. Okay, then uh, I, I start uh, my um, university uh, um, uh, school and uh, I graduated there and then after graduation uh, I decided to, to see if something uh, to, to know something more, so I was able to get a postdoctoral fellow uh, in the United States. And so I went there, I was already married, uh, and uh, I went there with my wife, uh, and, my sec and with my wife and uh, with my first child, uh, that was uh, six months old, uh, if I remember correctly. And we stayed there two years at the University of Mississippi uh, in, uh, Medical School, and uh, my second son was born there, so he's, a, he's an American one. Then I had also... 
then I had also another son later on uh, in, uh, when I come back to Italy. And then I proceed all my career there. <clears throat> I first uh, was uh, in a hospital, and I stayed there for five years, I think, uh, as a physician. And then I decided to, because I was quite interested in research, so I decided to stay in the Institute of Pharmacology where I was already as an internal student. And I was accepted there. And I did all my career there, first as an assistant professor, associate professor, full professor, chairman of the, of the department and so on. Uh, as uh, we have already mentioned, uh, in the 80s, I was uh, interested in medical education. And uh, because of this, uh, medical education in Italy was in the beginning. Um, and uh, so we started this little uh, Italian Society of Medical Education. But uh, I wasn't uh, so happy because I realized that I didn't uh, grasp uh, what medical education was. And so I was lucky because uh, I asked uh, in, a for, in some American institution if they had uh, some position uh, uh, to be an assistant uh, there. And I was very lucky because in those days um, I received an, a positive answer from Dr. Uh, Steve Abramson. Now, uh, since uh, we are interested also today much in medical education, uh, so I want to tell you something more. In those days, there were two main authorities that are still uh, now in medical education. One was Dr. Barros. I don't know if you know that Dr. Barros was the one that invented the PBL, the problem-based learning. He wrote a book in those days called The Problem-Based Learning, and uh, <clears throat> he was at the University of Illinois if I remember correctly. The other was Steve Abramson that was at USC in California, uh, Los Angeles, and was uh, the other big authority. And uh, I was able to, my, 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 my children were already uh, grown up, uh, so uh, they could stay at home <laughs> by themselves. So I was there with my wife for two years, and I learned a lot uh, from uh, medical education um, from uh, Dr. Abramson. I remember that uh, he had a very, very big meeting in uh, Monterey, uh, California, because the Dr. Barros in those days uh, organized a, me a meeting just to, to advertise the, this uh, new philosophy about medical education. So Dr. Barros uh, organized that meeting, and the, in that meeting there were uh, a huge amount, more than 200 deans of all over the, uh, the medical education uh, in the United States. Uh, States. And uh, we uh, set up uh, some stations, we called those stations, okay, uh, where there were uh, uh, standardized patients. Uh, you know what standardized patients are. We were in, in uh, Los Angeles, so it was quite easy to find uh, actors uh, that <laughs> were able uh, to, uh, to act uh, as a standardized patient. And uh, a few days ago, we had a, a, a faculty meeting.